So first off, before you identify whether they're boys or girls, the main thing is to pick them out without getting bitten. So put your pressure on the back of them and grab them behind. Ah! Grab them behind the claws, and then they shouldn't be able to get you. Okay, now this is a boy, and a bit frisky. There's a couple of quick ways to give you an idea whether that's a boy or not. First off, they're bigger than the girls. So for your yabbies, your red claw crayfish, these will grow up to a maximum of 600 grams, whereas your girls about 400, 450, after about 18, 24 months. So that's your first bit. Boys are bigger than girls. The second bit, the claws are bigger. You'll see here the red go faster stripe on the outside of the claws. Uh, girls don't have that. So the claws are bigger and they've got that go faster stripe. Another couple of things to look out for is the main abdomen area here is more narrow than the girl crayfish. Uh, it's a little bit like fish. A lot of uh, male fish are a lot longer, a lot sleeker than female fish. Also, uh, these aren't as broad in the tail. The girls are a lot broader across there. But the main way to tell whether it's a boy, this is pretty much fail safe, is two little nodules on the last set of walking legs. So these are the walking legs here. One, two, three, four. On the fourth, the lowest set, you've got a little nodule either side. They're like a clamp for jigging. Okay. So that's the boy. On to the girl, so they're the, they're the same age these crayfish, but you can see that the girl is considerably smaller. Uh, she's a little bit broader across the abdomen, and the tail is wider as well. The claws are a lot, I suppose they're sleeker, they're not quite so uh, muscular, and there's no red flash on the side there. But again, the best way to tell, if you look here, there's no clamp down here. And on the third walking set, it's very, very hard to pick it up on the camera and show you, but on the third walking set, so go from the top, one, two, three, there's two little tiny holes either side of, it looks like a little vent in the middle there. Those two little holes are where the eggs come out, and then the eggs will make the way down here. So if they haven't got eggs down here, but they've got those two little holes and no, settle down, love, two little clamps, they're missing then you know you've got a girl so these are a little bit too small to sell you, you do sometimes see some of these this size for sale uh, but ideally market size is about 250 grams uh, you're the posh restaurants probably up to about 350 400 grams um, I say the boys they will grow to to over 600 grams after a couple of years now that they're attaining a decent size um, we have noticed that there has been a bit of an increase in them noshing on each other. They are quite cannibalistic. Uh, it doesn't matter how much food you put in there, when they start to molt, when they shed their exoskeletons, um, and they are very, very vulnerable. We do have the egg, egg crates in there for them to hide under, but we've got quite a few crayfish, and uh, once they find each other, if one's got a soft shell, it usually doesn't end very well for them. Now, because this fella is quite big compared to a lot of the other crayfish that we've got, I don't really want to put him back in the same tank because uh, I have caught him eating a few of the crayfish in his time. So down here is our sunken tank uh, that was uh, constructed about 15 years ago by Toon's dad and we patched it up a few months ago and we put some big adult females in there. Um, so really, it's, it's this young studs lucky day because he's going in uh, what could we call it the crayfish cougar tank uh, and if they like toy boys he's going to fill his boots so uh, we're going to put him in there and hopefully he'll get straight to work we'll just um, help him a little bit little penis that's like a a crayfish hand job 